Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. I have an update for you out of uh, Yokohama, Japan regarding the Diamond Princess. Apparently, complete chaos on board the ship with respect to the healthcare workers. Accusations are being made. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, giving these video updates thumbs ups. Really appreciate your comments as well. Also, thank you for subscribing to my Facebook group page and also joining the uh, Instagram Traveling with Bruce page, uh, becoming a follower of that. I really appreciate it. Jennifer's handling that. Let me get to the meat of the story. First of all, I want to update all of you. A lot of you have been following this couple right here, David and Sally Abel. Uh, they have been passengers on board the uh, Diamond Princess. They were quarantined. They're from the UK. They have been uh, providing updates, uh, video type updates on uh, Facebook originally and now on YouTube because David has his own YouTube channel and I'm going to put the link of his channel down below in the description so if anyone any want to follow his uh, follow his videos you can do so they have been a lifeline of information to uh, probably hundreds of thousands of people around the world maybe millions now and they've been interviewed on all kinds of uh, media they did start off by being interviewed by North American media uh, UK media uh, Australian media and the like but they've uh, lately been limiting their media appearances to UK only and they've been very upset that uh, the UK government's been apparently been very slow at uh, reacting to getting the Brits off this ship. The news today, uh, unfortunately, is uh, with two days to go in the quarantine period, um, their tests came back positive for the virus. And so now uh, David and Sally um, apparently uh, left the ship sometime in the last... I'm going to say 12 hours or so. Keep in mind, folks, it's 12 hours time difference between uh, Japan and North America, where I am. Uh, but from what we're led to believe at the moment, they're headed for some sort of a hostel. They're not even going to a hospital because they have they have they have an indication that they've got the virus, but they're not yet ex exhibiting um, uh, symptoms and and, and discomfort. Um, and I guess they're going to be in a in a quarantine situation on land. Uh, they're very upset about it. There's no no phone con no phone connectivity, no cell phone connectivity, no Wi-Fi. They're totally cut off, and they're very upset about this. They uh, want to be in touch with their uh, loved ones at all times, and vice versa, obviously. So hopefully they will be back in communicado with us here in the outside world very shortly to let us know how they're doing. And of course, we all are crossing our fingers that uh, whatever happens to them is is very minor, if, if at all, and that they'll be all right. Um, they wanted to get back to the UK badly, and uh, they were quite happy to be in quarantine there if possible, but now that's not going to happen. So there's the latest on David and Sally Abel. Uh, my best wishes uh, go out to them, and um, we'll follow. I'll keep following them as best I can. Now, this video... Um, Earlier today, I had no idea what I was going to talk about today here on YouTube, but uh, I have just come across a story here that is now hitting Twitter and other sources. Um, it is um, a report, uh, a video that has been made by a doctor that uh, is a specialist in, uh, in, in effect, uh, uh, infections co uh, containing uh, infections like SARS and others. Um, and he was on this ship in the last two days and he observed what was going on he he was only on the ship for not even six hours uh, before he was asked to leave um, and he has made some serious accusations and he is making uh, he's bringing to light what it's like on board the ship from the health professionals perspective uh, we've been getting all these stories uh, on the uh, internet and on TV and everywhere else from the passengers who are stuck on the ship but of course they're in their cabins they don't know what's happening in the hallways they don't know what's happening elsewhere uh, this gentleman his name is uh, I believe it's Dr. Kentaro uh, Iwata and he is from the Kobe University Hospital in Kobe Japan uh, the gentleman has been sent around the world to help contain serious outbreaks of other diseases uh, he is no stranger to these kinds of outbreaks uh, and he knows exactly what to do here in this case um, what he is um, uh, basically uh, telling uh, people he made a YouTube video one in English and one in Japanese 
what he's been saying in a 12-minute rant is, uh, uh, number one, that he himself, right now, having been on that ship only as an observer and being fully uh, uh, covered in a hazmat suit with face masks and everything else, he feels that he is a danger to his family and his co-workers, and he has put himself into a self-imposed 14-day quarantine in his house. Uh, that's how seriously he feels this is. Um, that's number one. Uh, but he was talking about stuff like the entire operation on board the Diamond Princess uh, is, is being coordinated by uh, Japanese uh, uh, officials who he believes are, in effect, bureaucrats. They are not uh, what he considers to be fully trained medical professionals that are capable of handling this disease and monitoring it. And he has accused the higher-ups that are on this ship of being in a power struggle with each other for who's in charge type of thing. He has been talking about all kinds of what he calls basic violations of quarantine rules that, he, in his opinion, make it impossible for thousands of these people on board the ship not to be infected. He is convinced that virtually uh, a high percentage of everyone on board the ship, not only the passengers or the crew, but even the health workers themselves, he is convinced that many of them are going to be infected from this um, virus. And he has gone so far as to say that these folks who are spending time on the ship head back to their hospitals where they actually work during the day and, and other health areas, and then they go home to their families. He is convinced that these people are spreading the virus amongst their own families and co-workers in the greater Tokyo, Yokohama area and from wherever else they come from. Uh, strong charges. Um, he uh, was talking about one basic example. It was uh, something about how a, a passenger... Uh, on the crew, one of the cabins uh, wanted something brought to their cabin. They wrote it down on a piece of paper, which they were asked to do. They handed the piece of paper to the uh, to the person, uh, who then uh, uh, took it to another person. They they, they they read the paper, then they they came back and asked him another question on this piece of paper. They gave it back to them in the cabin. They they people in the cabin answered the question and filled in some information, handed the piece of paper back again. This piece of paper was going back and forth. He's saying the problem is that the passenger, the the, the, the people in the cabin who either are infected, don't know they are, or, or are not infected, don't know they're not, are handing the piece of paper to workers who could be infected or could not be infected as well. This, this uh, just an example, the piece of paper is being handed over to five or ten different people and any one of them could be in, infected already. And uh, he said, this is how, you, how it spreads. It, the, the virus can live on a surface like paper for days. Um, there are untold examples of, like, for example, when you're finished your meal, you, you, you get your food on a tray. There, the, the, the people in the cabin hand the tray back to uh, volunteers or, or workers. The tray gets handled. It gets taken down to the, to the, to the mess down below to the kitchen. And uh, the workers are handling the dishes and the uh, forks and knives and spoons and everything uh, without gloves. I mean, it's just, it's just it's one violation after another. He's He is talking about quarantine 101 is what he is trying to talk about. He's not talking about highly sophisticated air filtration systems and low pressure uh, zones. Uh, he's saying there is no such thing as a red zone and a green zone on board the ship. There is no... D differentiation, differentiating, differentiating between one and the other. He said it's so lax, and it's so loosey goosey down there where these where these professionals are. He said there are people. Some of the people are walking around in the ship without their masks on. Others are walking around with the ship with their masks on. Again, between the medical office and other offices down below, uh, uh, fingerprints all over the place on handrails and what have you. Um, he was outraged, and uh, uh, he was talking to people, trying to convince them about the the situation that, that they were in, trying to enlighten them as to just how dangerous this really was, and in effect, he was kicked off the ship by people higher up who just had had enough of this pest, um, trying to, as gently as he could, uh, persuade these people to tighten up their procedures. And uh, he's looking at the camera on, on the YouTube. 
uh, almost, uh, he's beside himself. He's, he's just uh, totally beside himself. He said if, if, if medical professionals from around the world, the WHO came onto this ship and saw what was going on, th- they would be shocked because this vessel, in his opinion, is actually going to spread the virus throughout Tokyo. And we are talking about 35 million people in the Tokyo region. And he, he's convinced that dozens of these workers have spread this virus unknowingly to perhaps thousands of other people who have no idea that uh, that uh, they're they're in contact with someone who's been in contact with others who have who've got this uh, virus. It's it's really scary. And I I. I I hate doing these videos. I'm telling you, I love talking about cruise ships and how great they are. And I love going on cruises and I want to go on a nice beach and enjoy myself. And I want to go into the spa room and um, and get a steam bath. And I want to uh, hit the hot tub. I'm telling you, I love cruising. But um, I have to tell you what I'm hearing and what I'm coming across. And I'm getting more and more disturbing stories coming out from people that I would say are in the know. Uh, I cannot uh, in any way poo-poo this gentleman. Uh, You can look him up on the internet. (laughs) He actually exists. There are, uh, there's articles about him. Uh, This guy is real. Uh, Dr. (laughs) Kentaro Iwata from Kobe University Hospital in Kobe, Japan. Uh, And as I said, he is witnessing procedures on board the ship that uh, have scared him to the point where when he got off the ship, came back home, he probably wore a mask on the way home, um, he has uh, separated himself from his family. Uh, he's probably staying in a separate bedroom in his own house, and I'm, I'm not sure if he's sent his family away or what, but he is self-quarantining uh, himself. He is putting himself under his own quarantine for 14 days. He is not going into his own hospital for fear that any of the uh, the uh, transmission could come from him to any of his co-workers by some fluke or by some accident. So th- this is serious stuff. Uh, when you get someone who's a specialist in the transmission of this kind of disease acting in this manner, I think it has to be paid attention to. I, I'm kind of curious to see in the next 24, 48 hours how this will this story will will uh, uh, emanate out. Uh, will this hit the uh, the airwaves? It's not a sexy story. I'm not looking for a lot of views here. Uh, I think a lot of you will have, may have already turned this video off a long time ago because it's boring. But on the other hand, I think it's incredibly important to uh, let you in on what's going on. I'll put a link to his video down below in my description of this video. So if you want to see and hear what he says, he speaks in English uh, on the one video. It's about 12 minutes long. You can hear for himself what he is talking about. And he is shocked at the chaos on board the ship. Anyway, there you go, folks. Again, thank you for tolerating my very long videos. Um, I appreciate you uh, uh, and all of your comments. I know a lot of you are following this story. And I will continue to uh, try to update you on the latest what's going on here with the Diamond Princess and other ships. There's a lot happening in a lot of places simultaneously. And um, I'll stay on top of it. In the meantime, stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.